Hey guys, I'm Jean and welcome to my quick tutorial on the new workbenches we have in Alpha 16 Starvation Mod. Now this video will not be covering the NPC workstation since I feel they're bugged or broken or I just don't understand them. But what we are going to be covering is the whip, uh, weapon workbench, the lathe, the moonshine station as well as the science workstation. Now first we're going to start with the lathe since this is the very first one that you need to build for the quest. And you're going to see that after you craft it, you won't be able to place it because it says something about a power supply. Now what you first need to do is uh, build a failure relay like this one and place that down on the floor. And then you'll be able to place this lathe right next to it. Now that also, I just want to turn this off quickly. Um, that doesn't mean it's going to be able to open. There's no power to operate this machine as you guys can see at the bottom of the screen. However, as soon as you uh, provide power, now this is connected to my generators on top. As soon as you provide power to the relay, since it's right next to the lathe, you'll be able to access it. Now what you're mostly going to be using this for is uh, spears and weapons and stuff, but as well as steel boots. As you guys know, you have the iron boots and you have the iron gloves and helmets and stuff. Now this is steel, it's just a lot more expensive because you have to make armored plates. And armored plates take ceramic plates and steel plates, so it's very expensive. Now another important thing you're going to be using this for is the gas cylinder. As you can see, it says empty over here. And this will be our fuel source for the moonshine station. Now guys, I know a lot of you have gotten the starvation mod and then you want to make gas cans. You've read the gas can schematic, but you are unable to make gas barrels into gas cans. And it says you need a workbench, you just don't know which one. And that one is this over here, the moonshine station. Actually, it took me so, uh, so long to figure this out. As you guys can see, it also has a tank, a gas tank next to it. Now, this is the same as the failure relay. Uh, it has to be next to each other. And if you don't put the gauges right next to the tank and you put it on this side, you're going to have to have gas pipes going all the way around to, and connected to the gas tank. So always make sure the tank is right next to the gauges and then you don't need any piping or anything complicated with that. Now, as you guys can see, I'm not... Oh, I am able to access this. Oh, yeah. Are you able to access the tank, but you're not able to access this over here? It also says there's no power to operate this machine. Now this takes gas power, not electric power. So what you then do is you create these biogas digesters. And then in here, you put the empty uh, cylinder, the gas cylinder. You put the plant fibers and then human turds. And then after a while, uh, you can just leave that and it'll start to fill up the gas cans. So these gas cylinders will appear then on the right and it'll actually be called gas cylinder full. Um, and you take those out, put them in here, and as soon as that's full, or remember it runs out very fast, it actually takes one or two just to open the um, moonshine station. So if I can give you any advice, it's to craft quite a few of these empty ones, make them full, and then use this. So you put them in here, that powers it up, you go in here, and in here you're actually able to turn gas barrels into gas cans. So <laughs> I can't believe it's this simple. Is I struggled for so many in-game days and then only later found that out. Okay, so next we have the science workstation. As you guys can see over here, science workstation comprises of three pieces. The science station small parts, science station parts, and science station base. Now all of these you can actually make. Let's just type in science over here, like so. And as you guys can see, you can craft all of these in the workbench. It's just a little bit expensive for some of them. And then off, uh, as soon as you have these three, you're able to make the workstation itself. And then these you can actually craft the shear. You don't need the shears. The medical scissors you can craft. The medical science set you can actually find or craft. And then as well as this over here. This is called surgical calipers. Now, it actually needs the surgical calipers to be able to make your snake venom. As, uh, as you guys have noticed by now, the science workstation is more for your antidotes and stuff, like the radiation pills and the snake venom. This is the most important part, guys. Uh, I have a tutorial as well on how to make snake venom, so you can go check that out. It's part of this playlist. Uh, but yeah, this is a very important thing to have on you, and then obviously the radiation pills, because in this mod, radiation is actually livable you can actually live with it because you also have this suit over here radiation suit it actually works in this mod so that's awesome okay so that's three of the stations now this is a very fast video so if you guys want me to cover something more in depth just let me down in the uh, comment section down below 
But lastly, we have our weapon workbench. Now, guys, in this game, I actually struggled because I thought you actually need to read schematics for your weapons, but that's not true. All you need to do is you need to craft this. I still don't know what this is for because I think this doesn't work at the moment. Um, it says here is used to assemble, uh, disassemble and repair firearms, but I don't use these. You just need your workbench, you open it up, and then you're actually able to assemble and repair all your weapons in this. Now that that's actually making this mod a lot harder because as you guys know, during Horde Nights, you kill the zombies, your weapon uh, quality goes low, you just repair it on you. Now you actually need one of these workstations close at hand while facing a horde because you need to run back in, open this up, and then you're only then are you able to repair it. And also if you assemble, it closes it, so you have to go back into the station to do the next weapon. So yeah guys, that is the, all the important workbenches covered for now. If you guys want to see more videos like these on different workstations, like I said, um, the NPC workstations I'm not going to cover because, for example, over here I had the farmer station and it broke. It had food and everything, but it just broke. So I think it's not working that well in Alpha 16 Starvation Mod. Uh, there's a glitch or something that they need to fix. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like and share with your friends. If you have any comments or tips or feedback, did I say something wrong? Uh, do you want more information on one of these workbenches? Did I, didn't I cover it well enough? Leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.